Well, remember when you asked me if I knew how to meet the Dendro Archon? Mm -hmm. Even though I don't know how, I think I've actually seen her before. Huh? Really? Yes, it was when I was a child. Ah. Uh. At the time, my illness had kept me bedridden for the better part of a year. I was stuck inside and couldn't make any friends, and my parents did their best to find treatments for me. But even then, the Akasha didn't have any hopeful information. Oh, the Akasha. My younger self no longer had any hopes or dreams. Akasha, the all so knowing. I was in a semi conscious state for several days. Then one night, I woke up alone in my room. I was terrified. My body was paralyzed. Even if I cried, there was no sound. At that mm. moment, an ethereal voice spoke in my mind Dunyarzad. Don't be scared. You don't have to cry. Dunyarzad, don't be scared. You don't have to cry. <gasps> Who are you? How do you what? know my name? Oh my god. Okay. Um, how do I explain this? My you might body not is be shivering. able to understand, but actually, I know everything about you. Really? Of course. I know that you're scared of thunder. That you hate taking medicine every morning. And that you love counting the petals on your mom's skirt. Huh. Wow. You really do know everything. Junior is odd. Is there anything you want? Want? Not really. I, I can't go anywhere or do anything. Wow. Huh? But aren't you a child? All children have wishes. Tell me what you want, and maybe I can make it happen. Can, uh, can you make my illness go away? <gasps> oh. Uh. I'm sorry. But uh, I'm not powerful enough to do that right now. Then, can you be what? my friend? After that, the voice said, Okay, I'll be your friend. <laughs> Although oh my, God. my body was I'm not crying during those days, you are. that voice encouraged me and told me many wondrous things. 